Uh, well, speaking of hoovering, one Australian <laughs> building biologist says that when you're tidying up the house, you could be doing more harm than good. If real fresh air's not your thing, buy some. <laughs> Toilet a bit squiffy? <laughs> Floors and benches teeming with imaginary germs? No problem. Stop scrubbing, especially with that chicken. Yeah. One Aussie naturopath says we're so intent on shiny surfaces, we're exposing ourselves to hundreds of harmful chemicals. And the kids are copping it worse, with Australians among the world's highest allergy sufferers. So in a modern world, surely we need modern warfare to combat grime. Mr Muscle. That's right. But is this multi-billion dollar industry actually just taking us to the cleaners? For her thoughts, we're joined by building biologist Nicole Belsmar. Now, Nicole, you've written a book on this topic. How toxic is the average Aussie house? Well, there are a variety of different hazards that could exist in the home that could cause health effects, such as lead dust in older homes, causing learning and behavioural disorders in children, to things like allergens, dust mite, mould and pollens, things like electromagnetic fields, which is still a controversial issue, and chemicals, of course. The amount of chemicals we bring into our home through household cleaning products, personal care products, in building materials, flame retardant, stain resistance, waterproofing, and the oh list God. goes on. <laughs> I understand that you're saying some germs are good, but isn't good hygiene what sort of stops the flus being spread and gastro bugs going around and things like that? Sure, absolutely. Hygiene is critical. Of course, washing your hands after you touch the pet, before you eat food, you know, when you're touching meat or cooking, etc. Of course, or, and after going to the toilet, it's very important. But you don't necessarily have to use chemicals in order to create a healthy home. This is fantastic news. So when I get home tonight and I want to sit down and watch some television, my wife says, do some cleaning, I'll say, no, I care about our kids' health, yeah? Well, it depends where you're sitting, Husey, because if you're near, say, for example, the meter box, you could be exposing yourself to a high electromagnetic field. Go on, there's nothing safe. Now, I mean, death hole on a wire brush used to be good enough in my day. Uh, if you can't use all these fresh chemicals around the place that are being flogged off to us, what do you use to, to keep the place clean and keep everyone healthy? Well, the best way to, well, the most effective way to clean the home is to use microfiber cloths. Just damp microfiber cloths will physically remove the germs without chemically mutating them or creating bacterial resistance. And that's really important because kids do need to be exposed to certain types of germs in order to prime their immune system. So what I would generally do is use damp microfiber cloths to dust the home. I would use a vacuum cleaner fitted with a HEPA filter in order to reduce the dust load in the home. And of course, do the best thing of all, which is to expose as many things as I can like my pillows, mattresses, etc., to UV radiation or the sun. Uh, very handy hints, but I think I'll just move into a tent. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much for your time, Nicole. Thank you. Nicole would absolutely die if she knew how much antibacterial gel I use. You're throwing I think it I in have there. a problem. It's yeah. a f amazing. Actually, I've been looking this up. The US Centers for Disease Control says no data demonstrates any benefits whatsoever. Carrie, so antibacterial from having gel. antibacterial cleansers in a healthy household. Wow. Oh. There you are. Forget it. Save your money. Save me doing so. Every time I, my kid does anything, I make him wash his hands with yeah, antibacterial gel. I do have to gel. say that while I was in India for the though. Commonwealth Games, I had one of those little things and I was wiping my hands with it, you know, several times a day. And but did you get sick? No. You didn't well, get sick? Wow. Mm -hmm.